Okay, hey, and welcome to a monumentous milestone for us here at Realm Pictures. This is the first blog entry, as uh, first weekly blog entry on the underwaterrealm.com, which is the blog that's going to be hosting all the updates for our latest project. It's a phenomenally exciting one. It's a phenomenally difficult one. It's set entirely underwater, um, and I'm sure you will learn a little bit more about it with each passing week. But this blog is going to be following us through every stage of production. We're now very, very early on in pre-production. We're doing research and development on all the techniques that are required. And this blog is going to be with us every minute of the day, all the way through pre-production, all the way through production on set, and all the way through post-production and all the challenges that we're going to face then, right up until the uh, the eventual success of the project, which I'm sure is going to happen with all the, uh, the love and support that we've been getting from the team so far. This week's been fantastically exciting, and, and it's been a really good kind of kickstart to the project, which is part of the reason we've decided to start the blog so early. We've been working with a fantastic couple of guys, Dave and Jeff, at cnc.net, which is a it's a company supplying scuba equipment and underwater photography gear to the to the rest of the country. Um, they're actually only a little short way away, and we had a fantastic meeting with them early in the week, and they agreed to help us out wherever they could with the project. So we've actually. Um, Although we're making an entire movie underwater, none of us are trained divers, which has been a real problem and a source of shame to us, to be honest with you. And Dave and Jeff have taken it upon themselves to to remedy that. So, I, um, as I know the rest of the team are as well, we're thrilled to have had our first session with the team at CNC um, in their own personal pool. We all know what you're thinking. We've also been working quite heavily on motion capture. Uh, we've actually been to our local game station and bought a number of these. These are £10 uh, pre-owned. These are PlayStation cameras for the PS3. PlayStation Eyes, I think they're called. And uh, fantastically cheap and not terribly great resolution at all, but uh, they shoot in 60 hertz or 60 frames per second. So you can actually rig a number of these up to a PC with the right firmware and you can record simultaneous video feeds from these fantastic for for indie filmmaking motion capture um, along with this you need a decent suit so we have been along to our local TK Maxx and bought a load of discount skiing thermal underwear and attached to it half cut ping pong balls with safety pins my targets this week are threefold this is my pledge for the week going forwards First of all, I'm going to take all the motion capture footage that we've done, I'm going to synchronize it all, and I'm going to perform a 3D solve on it, which means we're going to get a 3D animated position for each one of those half-cut ping pong balls. I'm then going to feed all of that data for Shaz so that he can move forward with one of his weekly targets. My second target is that on Thursday, we're actually, myself and Mark are going to be driving to Ealing Studios, where we've been, been fortunate enough to be invited along to Chris Jones' Production Office Live, which is a show that goes out live on the internet to filmmakers all around the world. Fantastically popular. I'm really excited to meet the team there. Chris is actually the, uh, the author of the Guerrilla Filmmakers Handbook, which is it's basically the indie filmmaking bible for the UK. Um, fantastic book, and it's been through a number of revisions now. We've had this one for years and years and years. Um, so... It's going to be a lot of fun there, and we're going to drum up a, a little bit of publicity for the project. Um, my third target for this week is that I'm taking a storyboard that I've already done for this project, and I'm reverse engineering this back into a script. Um, it never existed as a script, and ordinarily things would be done in the other order, but hey, it's filmmaking. You always make your own workflow for every... Every film you do is reinventing the wheel, so hey, we're going back from storyboard to script, and I'm then passing that over to our producer, John, who's going to be uh, comparing and contrasting, getting some feedback there. So that's my pledge for the week, and now we're going to go to a few other members of the team, and you're going to see what else is on the cards during the production of this movie. So last week we had a brief introduction in scuba diving, and it was absolutely incredible. I'm going to be scuba diving next week um, and the guys are going to be free diving in costume so we get an idea for the cloth dynamic uh, for Shaz and Dave's research um, but for me it's going to be like planting myself in the bottom of this pool and getting used to how the, the camera moves and how I feel and how I need to move um, underwater in order to be able to film. So my pledge for next week is going to be to start my 
project on underwater camera dynamics, um, looking at films, wildlife documentaries, um, and any other suggestions that you guys can come up with would be greatly received. And um, I will let you listen to what the other guys are up to, and I'll speak to you all soon. See you later. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark. I'm a new face to the, uh, to the Realm blogs. My job is to try and simulate uh, an actor swimming on a dry stage. And it's proved relatively difficult so far. I've been on a, on a short course with the wonderful people at RC Annie over in London. Been working with the uh, fantastic Simon Mullins, who has been kind enough to offer us a load of his climbing equipment um, so we can get into a rehearsal space and test out some of the shots, use some of the skills that I learned on this wire work course, so use my performance background and the work on the course in performing wire work with his technical expertise, his and David's technical expertise, in hopefully creating some fantastic wire rigs. So my pledges for this week are when Dave hands me over the equipment that he's very kindly promised us, I need to familiarise myself with that and learn how to use it in the most effective way. I then need to source a very useful spreader bar because that's a piece of equipment that Dave doesn't have. Gonna hand you over to another member of the team right now. See you later. As visual effects supervisor, I'm in charge of all the different special effects and simulating this underwater environment and there are quite a lot of challenges. The big one we're facing at the moment is that of the clothing. Clothing underwater obviously moves really differently to what it does in air. And digital clothing has been done in games and in films before, but usually to complete CG characters. What we haven't seen a lot of is digital clothing added to a live action character. Now there'll be times where we're not filming in the sea or in a scuba tank where the clothing will move naturally. And when we're moving on a dry set, the clothes are going to be a big giveaway. So what we're planning to do is create a digital costume that can be added to him later on in post. So this is going to be done using Dave's motion capture and me doing cloth simulations. Um, this Tuesday we're going scuba diving and what we're going to do there is actually do get some reference footage of how clothing moves underwater and I'm going to use that to further my simulation and try and get it to look perfect in the way that clothing and any cloth should move underwater. So my pledge is by the end of the week I'm going to use all the reference and use the mocap data to create a digital character with clothing moving like it is underwater and I'll have that rendered and I'll be able to show that to you by next week. Okay so you've seen a little bit of what everybody's doing this week and you've seen everybody's promises for what's going to happen next week uh, and I guess that is about it for us. So we will see you next week where we get a roundup of how this coming week has gone, how we did against our targets, and what we're planning to do in the future. Uh, we will catch you next week, so keep swimming. That's a terrible, corny line, isn't it? Yeah. F***ing hell. So, you've seen there a little summary of what everybody in the team has been getting up to this week, and what their plans are for the following week. So, we will see you at the same time next week on theunderwaterrealm.com where we will get an idea of how everybody's got on with what they're doing and how the project is progressing forwards. So we'll catch you then.